All right, everybody, this is uh, Brian with Flathead Finance. We're gonna do a little how-to video today on how to build live wells for catfish. Um, basically, before you get started, you wanna answer a couple of questions. First question being, how, how much room do you have in your boat? So, Blue, if you want to, come over and show them my boat. The way I've got my boat designed is plenty of floor space, so I can get a pretty big live well in my boat. But some of you guys may be working with like an 1860. So this type of setup that we're gonna to build today can go in any, in any, uh, in any live well, really. Uh, size doesn't matter, but for me, man, I need a bigger live well because we fish three fish tournaments a lot. That's another question you wanna answer. Uh, what, the tournaments that you're fishing, is it a one fish tournament, just big fish only, or is it three fish tournament, five fish tournament? Uh, obviously the bigger, the bigger the limit size, the bigger the fish you're catching is the bigger the tank you're gonna need. Um, most people like myself, we. Catching the fish is always great and fun, but we want to see them swim away. Those big, those big females and big males, we want to watch them swim away healthy. So we're going to run through some of the materials here. I kind of give you an idea where I bought them in the price range. So this is the most expensive item we've got. It's the 800 gallon per hour bilge pump. I got it from Walmart. I think it was 36 bucks. Got the spray bar right here. I think it was $3. Got it from Lowe's. You can buy it in five foot or 10 foot sections. Um, heavy duty zip ties, a couple of dollars. Got an elbow here. This connects our hosing that we've got to the spray bar. A couple of bucks and then a dollar for the plug to go in the end. You're also gonna need a drill to put some holes in the spray bar. Um, we'll get to that here in a second, but just kind of want to give you an overview here of our materials and what we're gonna be doing. Um, we'll get back with you here in a second. Okay, so just gonna kind of, before we start connecting stuff, I wanna give you an idea of what it's gonna look like. So right across here, we're gonna have our spray bar, all right? It's gonna be mounted with zip ties. I'm gonna drill a couple of holes here, here, and down there on the end. We got the plug, obviously. The plug's gonna go in that end down there. Here's gonna be where we connect this to our spray bar. And down here, I've already trimmed off some of the hosing. So our hose is gonna be mounted in the corner like this. And our hose is gonna come up and connect to the spray bar using this, okay? So I'll also drill a little hole up here at the top to run our wires out with, keep them out of the way so your fish don't get hung up. And something else that we're gonna need that I didn't mention earlier is gonna be some uh, marine silicone, you know, waterproof for a few holes that we're gonna put in the bottom down here. And every toolbox, already has some pre-existing holes you need to close up. You, I, I like to use flex tape. I mean, it really does work good. Uh, just a small piece go over it, you'll never get a leak out of it. Um, and something else that I like to, to add is I put a little bit of a cushion cloth uh, between my pump and the metal to keep it from vibrating too much. Uh, really helps keep the noise down. So we're gonna get back to you here in a minute once we mount the spray bar and show you how it looks. We can run our zip ties through that right there and that right there, and that'll be good enough, okay? You don't want bolts and stuff out here on the outside of your tank where it can scrape your boat up or whatever else. So that'll work. I'll grab the zip ties and run it through there. Okay, guys, when you get ready to put your plug in the end of the spray bar, it might be smart to put you a little bit of Teflon tape, plumber tape, whatever you want to call it. Keep a good snug feed fit. All right, got a little PVC glue. This is gonna be where this goes into our spray bar. Just a little bit, it's all you need guys. Very little bit. And this stuff is super strong. So I'm gonna hold it here for a little bit and when it dries, we'll get to the next step. All right guys, so kind of update you on the process. We've got our spray bar mounted. As you can see, the, the plug is in. We've got it zip tied here with heavy duty zip ties and we went ahead and put a spacer back here to push our spray bar out a little bit more so our angle can be more or less down. So we'll put another spacer here in the middle and another spacer right here. And you can see we've done mounted our elbow. Next step is gonna be mounting our bilge here 
that's gonna be sucking with its mount through the hose into here. And the last step is gonna be putting us some drill holes in here to make sure our angles are right. So we'll get back with you. All right, everybody, go ahead and bring that light over here, Blue, and show them. We just put our housing, we're just mounting it down with some 5 16 galvanized screws, okay? This pump is gonna fit right down into that. Like so, pumps in. All right, here in a second, come over here and show them the underbelly. You can see we got these screws. I'm gonna take and cut those off and put some marine sealant right down here and let it dry good. And again, like I said, we gotta put some flex tape. We got two, we've identified two small holes that the manufacturer puts in for when this is a toolbox to keep the water out of it. But here we want the water to stay in. So, all right, we'll get back with you. All right, guys, we're back. We just got this pretty much installed the way we want it. We went in and drilled us a little hole to get our power cables out. We've got our mount here. We put our cushion to reduce the vibration. Like I said, we've got our hose coming up here. Took some marine sealant. That helped us get this bond real nice. A little bit of air. The only thing we got left to do is uh, drill us a few holes here. Uh, from my experience, when you're doing a catfish live well, probably three, maybe four holes is plenty. Um, you want your holes spraying hard pressure. You don't want 10 or 15 holes spraying light pressure. So uh, we'll get back to you here. In a few minutes, we're gonna be done with this thing. After we got done with the pump, I figure this might help some of y'all too. Um, to get the water out of the tank, I built this portable bilge. It operates the same way. It just pumps the water in this tank that's in here that we want and back out, all right? And this also helps too during the tournament if you wanna turn your water over, pump it back into the lake and give your fish some fresh water. I mean, if it's your water temperature's pushing 90 degrees, you might wanna do that a time or two. So, uh, but yeah, and I can show you, it's a simple. Like I said, it's just got a bilge pump with a three quarter inch hose and I've made a little extension right here with it. And you just hook her up like that and like that, watch your feet, and now she pumps, just like that. So, all right. All right, guys, we're here with the finished product. It took uh, probably just over an hour. We'll show you what's going on. So we've got our spray bar here. Like I said, with the with just three holes, you can see the water pressure is pretty strong, which is what you want. We're turning the water over, creating a lot of oxygen without having to put an oxygenator in here. I've got the cables round up. Here, nice and neat where your fish can't get in it. And you can see I got our cushion mounted under the mount. That way it's not a lot of noise. I mean, I'm gonna shut it real quick, Lou. You, you can barely hear it running, all right? And just showing back out here on the back side, it's simple. We got our wires coming out here. And right here we got a ground wire if we wanna put a switch on it. Um, right now, we don't really need to switch. So. That's it. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Hope it helped some of y'all out. Um, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Flathead Fanatics.